years. Love it. All right, April 15th is creeping up quickly. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know what that day is. If you haven't started your taxes, well, you could be in for a few surprises. We'll check out some of the changes you'll find on your tax returns this year and maybe where you can save some money this year. We'll be right back. Yes, we all know the doomsday, oh, better known as tax day, the day we all have to make sure our individual income tax returns are stamped and in the mail and on its way to Uncle Sam. And for those of you who have waited to file, yeah, we still got a few weeks. <laughs> we want to help you out. Uh, we don't have to do this difficultly because that's why we brought in Shauna Wickerling, the tax goddess, uh, sharing some tips on our 2013 tax filing and what may be different from last year. So, one, thanks for being here, Shauna. My pleasure. Good morning. Good morning. Let's talk about maybe one of the biggest changes that people may not know about, but itemized deductions and personal exemptions. That's actually being phased out. Yes. What so, does that mean for us? Absolutely. So if your adjusted gross income, which is the bottom line on the first page of your tax return, is less than 250000 you don't need to worry about the phase out, which okay. is great. Okay. So you're actually... A getting... lot of us will not fall under that yes, category. So We're under it. a good it. thing. We're under. Well, okay. in a way, it's a good thing. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so your medical... The only thing that really needs to be concerning you is that your medical expenses... Last year, you needed to be over 7.5% of okay. your adjusted gross. Now you need to be over 10% of your adjusted gross. Oh, so it's a bigger, you need bigger to have number. more itemization yeah. there. So you really want to try and bunch all of your medical expenses into one year. Name us a few things that maybe people don't realize fall under medical. I didn't realize that like saline solution Absolutely. for my contact lenses falls under that. So this is the neatest thing. If any of your doctors have told you that you need something, mm -hmm. it falls under medical. Okay. So that could include massage, it could include acupuncture, that could include vitamin C if it's a specialty thing from your doctor. Mm, so okay. just make sure that your doctor has it in his notes, his or her notes, that that is required for you and okay. you're good. Okay. I've even heard something as far as far out as a hot tub. So oh my check goodness. with your doctor well, for I'm gonna sure. I'm going to get a prescription for that <laughs> one. <laughs> All right, let's talk about maybe one of the bigger changes too we're seeing, Obamacare. How does this affect filing if it affects it at all? So again, if you're under that 250000 AGI, you're safe. If you're over it, the tax rates have increased on both ordinary income as well as capital gains tax. So where a lot of people are getting hit is that they've withheld on their W-2s the same way they've always withheld, mm -hmm. but now your tax rates are 7% higher. Now it's be bigger. Yeah, so okay. if you haven't even prepared a draft of your tax return yet, you probably want to get on that so you don't have a surprise come April 15th. All right, um, same-sex marriage provisions, that's changed a bit too. That's definitely changed. And at the federal level, so if you've been married in any state, at the mm -hmm. federal level you have a choice to file jointly, which is new. Okay. Uh, the state of Arizona, it's still not quite here yet, so you're still filing separately. Okay, so. okay. Double check with your preparer for sure on how you want to do that. Okay, I've also heard capital gains are now up to 20% Correct. for certain taxpayers. Yep. Now, in the, on the good side, you still have the 0% and the 15% if you fall under certain income limits. So okay. it's almost like the phase out you were talking about. Okay. If your income is lower, you may get 0% on capital gains, and that's when you sell stocks. Mm -hmm. um, if your income's kind of in the middle, you might get 15%. Anything over that 200000 you're looking at 20%. So okay. one of the okay. biggest pushes you can do is try and see if you can get your income below that $200,000, $250,000 limit to get the lower tax rate. Sometimes that means watching your overtime and such Absolutely. and maybe not yeah. taking it if you can. Exactly, or, or don't okay. get paid out on vacation time, that kind okay. of thing. Okay, okay, good to know. Now, uh, as people are saying, okay, I'm taking note of all these little changes, what are some of the common mistakes that people make that really could avoid a big hassle when filing your taxes? So one of the biggest things is if you can e-file, e-file. You know, there's always been this argument about is e-filing better, is paper paper filing mm -hmm. better, the government wants you to e-file. Okay. If you can e-file, the process is streamlined. Now, a lot of people run up to this deadline and don't quite realize how close to the deadline they are. You do have the opportunity to file an extension. Okay. So remember, you can file an extension. It's an extension of time to file, not an extension of time to pay. So if you owe the government money, they still want their money on April 15th. Okay. But you do have time to file the return up and through October 15th. All the way to October. All okay. the way till October. Okay, good to know. So, Such great tips. If we have more questions, 
listeners, where can we get a hold of you, Shauna? www.taxgoddess.com is the best place to find me. All right, and we'll put it all on azfamily.com too. Thank you Wonderful. so much for Thank shedding so light much. on filing those taxes. I admit, I'm one of the procrastinators. <gasps> I, know, I know, and usually I get them done quickly, but you know, I feel like, how is it the end of March already? You have October 15th, you're good. No, I'll get it done before <laughs> April 15th. Don't, don't put me in that category. <laughs> Shauna, we appreciate the tax goddess.